Hi, this is Hassan Ben Kuya, Account Manager at Build It Software and Solutions. And uh, today I will show you and explain, um, based on your requirements, the workflow to use in Build It 2014.5, which is the latest version of our software. Uh, so first you'd have to import your CAD model. So for that you'd go under File, Import, Import Models. You would select your CAD model, or you can just drag and drop your model, as you can see over here. Uh, so I have my CAD that was imported. Next is to import the point cloud. So you would go under import, import points, and you would select the, the file that contains all your measured points. So there will be either uh, points that you have measured manually, with, so you'd have the XYZ uh, coordinates of the points that you have measured manually, or measured by your fixed CMM or by any uh, measurement device that you have within your facility. So I would select my file, and I would just specify to the software that these points that I've imported are measured points, and I'm good. So if I zoom out, as you can see here, I have my point cloud as well, which is a scan of my part. So next, I'm going to uh, align my, uh, my point cloud to my CAD model. So I just select my point cloud, select all the surfaces of my CAD, create an association between both, and proceed to my alignment. So as you'll be able to see in a matter of seconds, I will be able to align almost 170,000 points to my CAD model. And here you have it. So my CAD is aligned, my, my point cloud is aligned to my CAD, as you can see. And underneath in the message bar, I have all the information related that I need uh, regarding my alignment. So I have the RMS fit error, the weighted RMS, the max deviation, the minimum sampling. So everything that I need basically regarding my alignment. Next, um, it's the next command is auto split and associate. So this will allow me to first select my point cloud. Here, I'm going to select all the surfaces of my CAD. And basically, this command, what it does is going to split my point cloud into uh, smaller point clouds that will be automatically associated to each surface of my CAD. And here, now that the command, the operation is completed, um, instead of when I click on my part or on my surfaces, instead of having the whole point cloud that is shown as one here, based on the surface where I'm clicking, I have just a smaller point cloud that was associated to that surface. And this is good for my for uh, the analysis that I will uh, perform as the next step. So as you can see, analysis, surface deviation analysis. So for here, I'm going to select my all my, the, the surfaces of my CAD. And automatically, the software now uh, detects all the, the point clouds based on each surface. And I'm going to start with the rainbow plot. So basically, this rainbow plot what will give me it will give me um, a quick rainbow display, a rainbow plot of my cat of my CAD based on my point cloud uh, with the max deviations. So with the minimum and the max maximum deviation, and this will give me uh, a quick a, tr a quick view of the trend of my part to see which which uh, which side is um, within or without tolerance. So as, uh, I will just go ahead and hide my point cloud. That way I can see the whole plot much better. So as, as you can see now, the plot, we can see the plot much better. Um, and here, as you can see, obviously the front of my, uh, of my part is the one that is causing the problem. And if I zoom a little bit more in, as you can see here, I have the red and I can see based on the scale bar that I have on the right that I am around 0.75 millimeter, millimeters and 0.99 millimeters. So uh, if I want to push the analysis a little bit further, and let's say that uh, in my sheets and my specifications, I have a tolerance that is that I need to be within that tolerance, which is 0.75 millimeters. So I'm going to 
Recompute my analysis this time. So select the surfaces as before, select automatically the point clouds. And instead of having the rainbow, I'm going to specify a tolerance based analysis, which allow me to enter a specific uh, tolerance that I know that I have to be within that analysis within that tolerance. Sorry. So here I'm going to specify 0 0.75 millimeters, as I said, and go and recompute my analysis. And as you'll see, this time I will see just with two colors, either green and red, if I'm within that tolerance or not. So this will sh show me very quickly which um, which sides of the of my part are within that tolerance or not. So as you can see here, very quickly, I see again it confirms that the front of my my part is not is the one the cause, causing the problem, and I know more specifically uh, which side of the, which which uh, surface of the front side of my part is causing the problem and which is in red and next is if I want to push the analysis even further again and see which um, on which side on which uh, surface I have um, over material extra material or which uh, surface was over manufactured I can do so with going into analysis again so select all my surfaces automatically detect the, so the point clouds and instead of uh, treating the deviations as absolute values, I'm just going to specify that I want it to be at minus 0 0.5, 0, at minus 0 0.75 millimeters uh, for the negative values and recompute. And this time I will be able to see based on four colors um, if the sur which surface was over manufactured or under manufactured and obviously which surface then has extra material or not. So very quickly, we'll see with the four colors that here now I have four color four colors with the negative values as well. And based on those four colors, all I can say is that the front of my part is still causing is the one causing the problem, which is the confirmation, and that it's also uh, it was also over manufactured. So I have extra material. And there you go. So I ha you have a deep analysis of your part. So you start with the trend of the part with the rainbow plot. Then you can do the tolerance based with the, the deviations as absolute values just to see um, with green or red uh, which uh, which surface is within your tolerance. And if you want to push it uh, even further, then you can uh, specify a negative uh, tolerance as well. And then you can determine uh, which surface was over manufactured or under manufactured and then so let me just go ahead and I'm gonna save this view because next step is to generate your report so I'm gonna save this current view as front part then I'm gonna save this view name it back part that way I can recall these views for my report generation so next as I said is to generate the report and as you can see I'm just gonna select all the surfaces I'm not gonna add details but these are the different options that you have for the report you can check them or uncheck them if you want to know the device information you can add it you can add the screenshots for example that I've just saved if when if you had a cam comments you can add them as well if you want to add the details you can add them uh, so these are the different options that you can check or uncheck for a report I'm gonna go there and save it and continue I'm going to add my two screenshots that I added, my saved GUs front and back. Press hit OK. And as you can see, now I'm generating my report, which is going to be a PDF. And very quickly, um, this is, keep in mind that this is 170,000 points. So that's why it's taking um, all this, this time, 27 points. But it, as you can see, a matter of seconds as well, I'm able to get my report. So I have the current view. I have the back 
part that I named, the saved view that I named. I have the front part and I have the device information. So you have the temperature, the humidity, the pressure. If you were using a device, for example, or we're not using a device, so uh, we just imported the point cloud. So the, device, so the information regarding the device is not relative. It's not relevant. And here I have all the information regarding my surfaces and my point cloud. So I have my details. I have for each surface. I have my positive, positive, negative side. I have all the deviations that I need for each um, for each surface. Um, I have all the information that I need regarding my surface deviation analysis. And that's the, that's done for all the surfaces, for example, because I picked up all the surfaces. But of course, if you needed just one surface, um, you could have just selected the surfaces that you wanted. Or if you, you wanted the information regarding each point of the 170,000 points, uh, you could have added just add details and you'd have had all the information regarding the 170,000 points that you had. So basically, this is your uh, workflow. So import your CAD model, import your point cloud, um, do a best fit alignment, uh, m uh, split, auto split, and associate your uh, point cloud to the to the different surfaces of your CAD model. Do your analysis and generate your report. And of course, next is what I'm going to show you is that I have automated that process. So this whole process can be automated, of course. And instead of, as you can see, it took me uh, five minutes to generate the whole uh, from importing the CAD to generating the report. And this could take this could take instead of five minutes, it could take only a matter of seconds uh, with an automated process. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this process. I'm going to drag and drop my process here. It, I'm going to enter the path of my the model as you can see it asked me to enter the path of the model to import so i'm just gonna copy and paste the path of the model that i need to import and same over here it asked me to enter the path of the measured points that i have the file that contains the measured points and of course this process is uh, parameterable that means that you can enter any model uh, any measured points and rerun the process. It's not specific to just one uh, CAD model and one measured point, but any type, any model that you import and any measurement, me, any measurement file that you import, the the this process will be this workflow will be uh, used for these files. So I'm just gonna hit OK, and as you can see, I have all the steps of the of that process. So basically what this what the process is doing is running my whole um, workflow in a matter of seconds as you can see. So I'm letting the process run and when the process will be done, what I'll do is I'll explain step by step what the process is doing. But as you can see, it's literally doing everything that I have done uh, for the past five minutes. Currently, it's doing the analysis, and here it's asking me to generate my reports. So I'm going to go with continue. So as soon as the report is uh, generated, is done, I'm going to stop the process and explain step by step what the process is doing, and it's exactly the same commands that I have done manually just before. So as you can see, it's creating the pages. And I have my process over here with everything that I need just before, just as I've done before manually. So I'm going to go and close the PDF. So let's go back on the process step by step. So first it imported the model, as you can see. Then it imported the cloud. Then it did the best fit alignment, as you can see over here. Then it did an auto split and associate. All, the, all, all these view zoom all set is just uh, object view manipulations that were done during during the, the process. But the real commands are really the import model, import cloud, best fit alignment, auto split and associate just as I mentioned, 
Then it did the analysis, the rainbow analysis. I've hidden the clouds, so show no show. And then I've just generated my, the report regarding the analysis that I've done. So thank you for listening and don't forget to visit our website for more information about Buildit and all the other software solutions that we offer such as DPV for your statistical analysis and NXCMM for your fixed CMM programming. Or you can also contact us to learn more about these solutions. Thank you.